as we age, it is critically important to have a healthy mind body spirit connection, and that's where lifelong learning comes in. The idea is to be more mentally stimulated, physically active and fulfilled in spirit. Gail Morgan from Splendido joins us now, and let's start with talking about lifelong learning. What do you mean by that? Lifelong learning is anything that one would pursue to strengthen their mind, their body, their spirit. Something as informal as reading the daily paper, working on a crossword puzzle, to actually going to the more formal route of taking a class and, and actually setting out to discover something new. That seems so simple. Doesn't everybody do that? There's some degree that we do. And every day we learn something new mm -hmm. by turning on the TV, by, by picking up the paper. And that's great to keep us going. But really what science has discovered, if we pursue a, a more intentional line of lifelong learning, by stimulating the mind, the body, and the brain, we have the ability to actually build additional neurons in our brains. So we're going to have a stronger, healthier brain, which is going to allow us to be more active for the rest of our lives. So is that what you mean by formal and informal lifelong learning? Formal is setting out with intent to discover something new. Um, for example, we have a, a gentleman that I know who decided to organize a series of lectures on the Civil War because it was something he was interested in. So he actually set out to create a month-long seminar of Civil War lectures and, and study. So that would be more intent, actually trying to learn something new. Mm -hmm. Now, do, do most people, when they retire, you know, they, they don't want to work anymore, and, and I don't blame them, I don't either someday, but um, do they think that way about learning as well? Do they retire from learning? Surprisingly enough, you know, um, Roper did a study for AARP, and what they learned is that 90% of those people over 50 mm -hmm. intend to intentionally learn more as they age. So we think they retire and they're going to kick back, but they really don't. The new retiree is setting out, and they're setting out on a path intellectually learning as well as physically learning new things, whether it's laughter, yoga, yoga or Tai Chi. Um, you know, before when we were in our 30s, we took a vacation to the beach with the beach toys for the kids. Mm -hmm. When the kids are gone and we're retired, maybe we're going to discover China. So we actually engage in, in learning in a whole new way in retirement. That, that's really, that's a good idea. That sounds really wonderful. Now, we seem to be centered on keeping the body active, mm -hmm. but it, it has to be that we keep the mind active too. It's as important, if not more so. Absolutely, you know, there's one goes hand in hand with the other. Mm -hmm. But by keeping the body active, we really are helping the mind too. Mm -hmm. Because if we set out to learn Pilates at 80, mm -hmm. that is also engaging our mind in a whole new way. So the body is strengthened, as well as the mind. A lot of people, me included, tend to take the same vacations. Mm -hmm. Try something, that could really broaden your horizons. Try something new. You know, elder hostels and the adventure vacations, some of the biggest clients are those over 70. Or even taking the bus within your city mm -hmm. to a, maybe a different part of the city, a different mm -hmm. a museum that maybe you have never thought about visiting. Mm -hmm. Challenge yourself. Those things we do wrote, you know, we always take the same route home. Take a different route and see what you discover. It's a great way to learn new things. And also keeping yourself socially active. That's, that's such a boost. Definitely. Friends, the more that you have friends to do things with, the more you're going to do, which is another form of more learning. Yeah. All right. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. On the consumer.